are you kidding me? I just saw the New York Comic Con trailer for Star Trek Picard Season 3. Oh my god, Moriarty. What the how the? Okay, putting that aside. Law's back? I don't understand. I thought Brent Spiner was hellbent on destroying, killing Data because he couldn't play the character because the character in theory didn't age and he did. So if Law's exactly the same, why is he back playing Law? Why couldn't we have Data? What the hell? Um, okay. <sighs> um, okay. So the trailer starts off with Picard saying, I got a distress signal from Beverly Crusher. She apparently is being hunted by somebody. Um, they drag everyone back. Um, they show Worf is now a pacifist. And there's a funny moment where he's beaming down with Riker and he's like, we're all going to die. Uh, because they don't have Worf, the old Worf. They've got the new pacifist Worf. Now that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, we don't see a lot, just a lot of space battles. The villain, um, I thought it was, I don't know, it, it seems to be a they-them. Um, I thought it was a guy, then I thought it was a girl, then I thought it was a guy, and then I'm like, I don't know who it is. We're supposed to recognise them? That was what um, um, Terry Metallis said. We would, we would recognise the, 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 I thought it was the actor. They weren't a star, but the song we'd recognise. I have no idea who it is. Um, this is my reaction video, a quick reaction video. I'll actually do a proper actual look at the trailer and work out who's who. But I just had to get my reaction there of Moriarty because my mouth was like open for about a minute and I'm like, okay, I, I'm while this while this is fresh, I want to talk about it for a couple of minutes. But um, I'm I'm deeply upset about the data situation. I mean they killed him in Nemesis because Brent Spiner didn't feel like he could convincingly play him because he would age as an actor, even though they could have used special effects and makeup to, to aid with that. Um, but yet they brought Law back, because they were talking about he would be back, and he'd just be back, we assumed, as a song character, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's good because it's making me think, what are they going to do, what's going to happen, I don't know, but I don't know if I'm actually going to like it. I hope I will. I'm trusting Robert my Burnett for now, but I'm going to go do a little bit more research. I think I'll come back and 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 hopefully have something more to to add to this. Honey Bunny, Amanda Plummer. I can't believe I didn't recognise her. She's got a bit of makeup. She's older. I didn't realise. Okay, that 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 this this there's some credibility there. Um, and when I take a closer look at Law, he appears to be Brent Spiner as a human, so I'm guessing he has evolved as a synthetic in that he actually looks more human and perhaps he is aging, which is a way to get around that whole issue with data, which is another distinction between law and data and how law is actually the more human of the two androids. Maybe are they going in that direction? I don't know. I haven't gotten to all the answers yet. Well, let's see what's see what's 89. Well, I just watched the Picard season three trailer from New York Comic Con and now the Season 5 trailer for Star Trek Discovery. Um, it looks okay. I mean, um, it seems a bit Indiana Jonesy. Um, we saw some of um, Burnham riding on like the racer bike, whatever it is. We saw them running around the jungle. We saw them um, going onto alien ships. We saw them... Um, not doing a lot. I mean, we saw a shot of the bridge. Um, we saw books back. We saw Tilly's back. We saw the president is back. Um, we actually saw that um, Stamets was on one of those bikes as well um, down on the planet. Um, it looks like a sort of backwards third world sort of alien planet or something. Um, yeah. Um, not a lot to it. Um, just a bit of action chasing. Oh, there's some device that they're, some MacGuffin that they're twisting and turning. Um, yeah. Nothing alarming. Just, um, I, I prefer my alien races to be interesting, not to look like, um, like somebody's, um, um, 
stall at like a market or something. I mean, the sort of, I'm kind of tired of aliens that just look like, you know, poor humans and they just, you know, throw cloths on them and rags and say they're aliens and it saves actually creating makeup and costumes and, and an actual culture and design and aesthetic and having big visuals and all that. I get really tired of the third world planet, just kind of like I get rid of like the, get, kind of get sick of the, um, like the forest planet, which just sort of looks like, you know, planet Can Canadian back lot. So not hugely impressed with the visuals. Um, I was kind of hoping to see something really interesting alien wise. Um, the ship stuff looks fine. Um, yeah, I don't have much more to say about it. I think I'm just going to tack this on the end of my Picard um, <laughs> Season 3 trailer because, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I should also have a look at the um, Prodigy mid-season trailer as well um, and throw them all in one, I guess. Okay, so I just watched the Prodigy trailer. It's about a minute 30 long. The um, the Discovery one was only 52 seconds and the Picard one I think was like two minutes. Um, yeah, basically they are being chased by the real Janeway and there's a good moment where Janeway's like, oh, you're being chased by the real me, <laughs> good luck with that. Um, basically they want to join Starfleet, they don't seem to be able to because, you know, obvious reasons, that was not going to be that easy. Um, they still use the ship, they feel they can still help people, they're still trying to sort of continue on their mission that they've sort of given themselves, but um, they're being pursued by the real Janeway, and they've got the um, the hologram Janeway to help them, but, you know, it's that's that's going to be, um, that's going to be an interesting um, one there. Um, yeah, that's about it. It just looks like they're continuing on. We see um, just the usual, just, just, you know, shots of the characters just being themselves and just implied adventures and, and, and that's it. It looks okay. I liked the first season. It was more like Star Wars and Star Trek, but overall it was well produced, well written. I liked the characters. Um, and yeah, what's the name gets their memory back? That's about it. <laughs> It looks okay. I'm going to go. Um, I don't have much else to put to it. I, I'm still in reeling from Moriarty and um, Law and Amanda Plummer. Um, that looks good. The ship looks good. The Odyssey class from um, Star Trek Online, I was never familiar with it. Everyone's getting excited about that. I have no idea what the deal is there. Apparently it's the Enterprise F. Now if that's actually in the video and I missed it somehow, I apologize. But um, apparently we're getting the Enterprise F. We're getting um, ships from Star Trek Online, which are now canon, and we're getting an awesome performance by Amanda Plummer, although it does seem to be the very stereotypical villain out to destroy the Federation, very over-the-top, um, you know, moustache twirling. Um, I have faith in Amanda Plummer, though, but um, it'd be nice if we could have a Star Trek story where they explore space and something rather than just villain trying to destroy us saving ourselves, you know, from being destroyed. That's 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 not really Star Trek's story, but it seems to be the movies. And this does seem to be the final Next Generation movie in, um, you know, streaming series form, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it there and go listen to everyone else's reviews and podcasts and so forth about um, all this, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>